The female reproductive system is made up of different parts, which includes the uterus, endometrium, fallopian tubes, and ovaries. During the menstruation cycle, each of these parts has a specific function. For example, inside each ovary there are thousands of follicles, which are cells with an immature egg. The egg is the female reproductive cell, preparing for ovulation. At the start of your cycle, the follicle stimulating hormone stimulates a large number of follicles. As the follicles get stimulated, the immature egg inside them begins to grow, mature, and also produce estrogen. Estrogens then go into the bloodstream and send the signal to prepare the uterus for pregnancy. At this time, the endometrium, which is the inner part of the uterus, is covered with a thick and spongy layer. Day 7. The dominant ovum produces a large amount of estrogen that travels directly to the brain and activates the pituitary gland, which is responsible for producing large amounts of hormones, including luteinizing hormone, which stimulates ovulation. Day 14. The luteinizing hormone begins to act on the ovaries, causing the dominant egg to mature rapidly and detach from the follicle. Now one of the fallopian tubes surrounds the follicle, causing it to open completely and expel the egg. This is known as ovulation. At the end of the fallopian tube is the fimbria, a set of cells that are responsible for collecting the recently expelled egg and transporting it to the entrance of the fallopian tube. Once here, by means of muscular contractions, the ovum is pushed towards the center of the uterus. Day 15. Starting on day 15, progesterone is produced inside the ovary, which is the hormone that helps the second phase of the menstrual cycle to occur. These days, the abundance of progesterone can make you feel more active and productive, and you'll also notice an egg white-like vaginal discharge being released. At the same time, you'll feel a greater desire to be with your partner. Towards the end of the cycle, the production of progesterone decreases drastically, and that is when the so-called premenstrual syndrome occurs, which can cause various symptoms such as mood swings, inflammation, pimples, fluid retention, colic, pain, and sensitivity in the chest, among other emotional and physical symptoms. Day 28. This day, the menstrual cycle is completed. Your body is about to menstruate. Day 1. It is the first day of menstrual bleeding, through small contractions that we know as menstrual cramps. The ovule and the thick and spongy layer that had formed in the endometrium are discarded in the form of menstruation. And so the whole cycle begins again. This is the typical 28-day menstrual cycle. However, cycle length can vary from woman to woman. Menstruation is a natural process that represents the amazing capacity and strength of a woman. So, if you also know a woman that you feel proud of or feel proud to be one, like this video and share it on all your social networks.